Hello friends, <coughs> today I am going to uh, read you about the Dibya Upadis from our King Prithivi Narayan Saha and the Dibya Upadis goes like this in English this is not the nation gained by my Trifle efforts, this is the garden of all kinds of flowers and may all be aware of this. In Nepali language, Mera sana dukhalya arjya ko muluk hoina Yo chaar bana chattis jat sabai ko saaja fulbari ho Sabai lai chetana vaya Towards the end of his life, Prithvi Narayan Saha was troubled by illness to a great extent. He had probably probably started to realize his end was near, which is why he decided to organize an uh, unofficial council meeting known as Bhardari Sava. In this Sava, he decided to inform his brothers, his son and his minister on why was he involved in the unification of Nepal and what should the appropriate policies and programs for the future be regarding Nepal. This Sava continued for a whole day for about five to six hours. The message he gave in the Sava was written down by his brothers and ministers and was com- complete as the Bhavatis. For region policy, Prithivinarayan Saha considered the state of Nepal as yam between two boulders, referring to China on the north and the Empire of Seas to the south. He suggested that Nepal should forever maintain good friendship with China regarding the policy towards the British on the South. However, he suggested to maintain friendship but also warned of their shrewardness. He said the East India Company is currently occupying Hindustan. Forcefully, if the Hindustan wake up, then the East India Company will come here in search of safe forts. Hence, Prithvi Narayan Saha connoted his soldiers to be prepared and build barriers and forts at appropriate locations. Religion Prithvi Narayan Saha was born in a Hindu family and later, after occupation, showed intolerance towards non Hindu religions as well as all foreigners after he became the master of Kathmandu proper he began to follow thus his policy of exclusion and exploitation of the Europeans with all strictness the Capuchin ministries missionaries who were residing in Nepal for a long time and who had been successfully converting people and also gaining lands from the Malla kings. He had expelled, expelled it from Nepal. He also expelled the Kashmiri merchants from Nepal. He called Nepal the actual Hindustan. He advised the citizens of Nepal to never leave the traditional dharma of the ancestors. Economic policy Prithivinar and Saha strongly emphasized local production in the in his Dibya Upadis. He was of the idea that if original traders enter Nepal, they, then they will suck the country dry. In the same context, he suggests, suggests prohibition on wearing original clothes and also pro- promotes trading of the local people to wear clothes. He believed that by doing so, the local wealth would not be allowed to reach out of the country. He encouraged selling of Nepali herbs to foreign lands 
and bringing the wealth so attend back to the country. He also wanted the money to remain inside the country. He famously said, Praza Muto Bae Darbar Pani Balio Rahansa. If the people are capable, then the palace will also remain stronger. Defense policy. Prithvi Narayan Saha emphasized on the building of forts. He considered the land of Nepal as a natural fort created by God himself. He suggested, suggested on building one strong fort is on Sivapuri, Pulchoki, Chandragarh, Chandragiri, Madhav, Madhav, Pokhari, Palung, Dapcha and Khali and placing cannon in each of them in a ready state construction of iron doors at the Banjangs and the placement of cannons in each of those doors each in ready state also was also advocated, advocated by Prithivina Saha which he believed would keep the country safe from Spice, refugees, murderers, etc. Death and legacy. Prithivinarin, King Prithivinarin Saha was ultimately able to capture small prince, principalities, principalities, and annexes them into Gorkha. The expansion was crucial as the British colonial forces had already begun colonizing the small kingdoms that forms present-day India Saha was confessed that the British force would eventually approach his kingdom. He believed that 50 small principalities would easily be conquered by the British as part of their colonization strategy. Expanding his kingdom made it more difficult for British forces to make their move. His expansion campaign was very ambitious, especially as he was the king of a relatively small kingdom surrounded by strong and powerful neighbors. In January 1775, at the age of 52, Prithivinar and Saha died at Devigat, Nuakot. Upon his death, his son Pratap Singh Saha succeeded, succeeded, succeeded him as him and his unification campaign was continued by his younger son Bahadur Saha. A poem by poet Abhya K. recounts the legacy of Tinar and Saha. So my friends, this is the history about our king. You can see the pictures. I will promise you to take like these stories, stories, historical persons, stories in the upcoming days, and I want to say goodbye. Sorry, only bye for today. See you again. Have a good night.